Imagine a world where the story of Spider-Man took a different turn. What if another person was bitten by the same radioactive spider that gave Peter Parker his amazing abilities? Do you believe that could really happen? Meet Cindy Moon, like Peter, she gained incredible powers after being bitten by the radioactive spider. But Cindy's journey as a hero took a unique path. Cindy, who is known as Silk, possesses similar strength, speed and reflexes to Peter. But unlike him, she produces organic webbing from tiny spinnerets on her fingertips. And if she's ever caught off guard without her suit. No problem, Cindy can create a temporary suit in seconds. But there's a downside to Cindy's powers. When she and Peter are around each other, the spider within them produces pheromones that lead to uncontrollable interactions, if you know what I mean. But there's also another person infected. A troubled individual named Kara King learned of Peter's identity and sought to gain spider powers for himself. Carl located and ate the now dead spider, which gradually caused his body to break down into a hive mind of spiders. But instead of gaining the powers he desired, Carl became something far more sinister. He became the Thousand, a hive-minded creature, infesting people, liquefying their insides, and wearing them as suits. Every time he ate someone he became stronger, and he would have to be strong enough to take down Spider-Man. He unintentionally consumed his own mother from the inside out, and took control of her remains. Then he did the same with his father and his girlfriend. While trying to defeat Spider-Man Carl accidentally hit a fuse box and the resulting explosion killed many of his spiders. Only one survived by escaping to the street, but was stepped on by an unaware citizen, ending Carl's life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more unbelievable scenarios.